When in the course of human events it becomes necessary for one people to dissolve the political bands which have connected them with another, a decent respect requires that they declare the causes which impel them to the separation. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, and among these, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. To secure these rights, governments are instituted among men, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed. And whenever any form of government becomes destructive of these ends, it is the right of the people to alter or to abolish it and to establish new government. We therefore, the representatives of the United States of America, do and with the authority of the good people of these colonies, solemnly publish and declare that these United Colonies are, and of right ought to be, free and independent states. That they are absolved of all allegiance to the British Crown, and that all political connection between them and the state of Great Britain is, and ought to be, totally dissolved. In the support of this declaration, with a firm reliance on the protection of divine providence, we mutually pledge to each other our lives, our fortunes, and our sacred honor. When a disease like communism hangs on as it has for a half a century or more, it's good now and then to be reminded of just how vicious it really is. Of course, those who have the disease use all kinds of misleading terms to describe its symptoms and its effects. But we've grown so used to communist double talk, I sometimes think we've lost some of our fear of the disease. We need frequent vaccination to guard against being infected until the day when this health threat will be eliminated as we eliminated the Black Plague. How many of us are aware of some of the differences between those who have the sickness and we who don't? Right now, there are a number of Russian women who fell in love and married Americans and other foreigners who happen to be stationed in the Soviet Union for a time. Communism is neither an economic or a political system. It's a form of insanity, a temporary aberration which will one day disappear from the earth because it is contrary to human nature. But I wonder how much more misery it will cause before it disappears. My fellow Americans, I'm pleased to tell you today that I've signed legislation that will outlaw communism forever. We begin bombing in five minutes.